struggling to finalize the finishes for your wooden products? Then don't worry at all. You've come to the right place. ITP is here to help you. Let's get into it. Hi. Uh, today at ITP, let's talk about solvent-based finishes and water-based finishes when it comes to wooden products. So let's begin with solvent-based finishes. So these type of finishes have been a long-standing standard when it comes to wood finishing, especially in commercial and also residential uh, buildings. And the main uh, function of these uh, finishes were these finishes use organic solvents like acetone and other spirits that carry certain pigments and resins. And when it is applied on a wooden surface, the solvent evaporates, leaving behind a hard and a protective coating on the surface. A typical solvent-based spray composition includes 25% solids and 75% thinner, meaning a large portion of what is sprayed in the air is volatile and non-solid. Despite this, the solvent-based finishes are widely appreciated for its outstanding flow and leveling. So when you look at a solvent based wooden finish, it, you get a very smooth feel, a very even feel when you have a look at it. And there's different types of finishes available in this. There's a gloss finish and also a matte finish that also give you that premium and rich look which the other types of finishes sometimes struggle to give you. And the durability is also a lot in this finish. It can withstand very rough scratches and also a moisture content to a large extent. And additionally, the use of acetone based uh, hardeners uh, make these type of finishes uh, very hard and also give you a lo longevity. And it making it ideal for areas where you know there's a very rugged uh, use of these products. And especially when it comes to ITP to address VOC concerns, I'll talk about VOC later. VOC concerns, we have implemented 100% UV solid coatings for our cedar coating, eliminating the need for solvent at that stage and thereby drastically reducing the em emissions. We have been following this practice for over a decade, much ahead of the industry practice. Now, let's shift our focus to water based finishing. So, water-based finishes have become the go-to choice for environmentally conscious applications. So, these finishes, as, in the, as the name says, they use water as the primary carrier with only about 5-7% to of the solvent content. So, this results in extremely low VOC emissions, typically under 5%, making them significantly safer for both users and the environment. Though water-based finishes may require an extra round of coating compared to solvent. For example, say for a solvent-based finish, if I do three coatings, for water-based, I will have to do four coatings. But their benefits when compared are much more substantial. So they release very minimal odor, making them suitable for enclosed or also occupied spaces. And with a water-based finish, it will give you a natural uh, look of the actual uh, wood species. It will give you a non-yellowing uh, look as well. So when you apply a water-based finish, it will maintain that color of the natural wood. And it also has a much faster drying time. So this will allow you to have uh, quicker recoat cycles and also more coats when compared to a solvent-based in, in a day. And importantly, their low VOC profile aligns with our recent green building standards and is also ideal for residential, institutional and also child sensitive environments. So, so far we have talked about solvent based finishes and water based finishes. The main difference, the major difference between both the finishes as you have uh, come across so far is the concept of VOCs. So what exactly is a VOC? Uh, VOC is full form as volatile organic compounds. Uh, they are basically chemicals that evaporate into the air at room temperature and they are usually found in any uh, coating material, be it paints or any solvent based wood finishes like PU, melamine, UV and any other common cleaners and adhesives. Why I am talking about VOCs in specific is because they matter a lot. 
especially because it has certain associated health risks with it so it can sometimes if there's a huge uh, load of voc it can be irritating to the eyes to the nose to the throat and also you might sometimes get headaches dizziness there be there be certain respiratory issues and a long term effect can also expose you know the can also affect the liver the kidneys and also the nervous system so that is the individual but the, it also has an impact on the environment voc is they react with sunlight and nitrogen oxide to form ground level ozone which i'm sure you guys know that it is a major component of smog and they significantly contribute to greenhouse gases and climate change that is why why i'm talking about this is because in this regard right solvent based finishes can contain up to 45% voc where water based finishes contain less than 5% with very negligible environmental impact now coming to the end we have talked about the water based finishes the solvent based finishes and also the vocs so how do we end this right so itp has always stressed on the fact that you know it is into environmental sustainability clean practices and clean practices so while solvent based finishes continue to give you that rich premium look on the outside and exceptional performance when it comes to durability the environmental and the health costs associated with vocs are becoming harder to ignore especially in indoor or eco sensitive areas right while on the other hand water based finishes have evolved significantly in the past few years they now offer much better durability even better safety and also much lower voc emissions making them idp's preferred choice moving forward for the future and also when it comes to the uh, practice of sustainable finishing when it comes to the wooden products so in the end it is ultimately your call uh, how you would want it but here is what we have to say on these two products so that's it for today guys and we'll be covering more topics in the next few videos so stay tuned and this is Sanjay Sundaram from IDP signing off